today. 203 here on the air. Hey, guys. How you doing? How are you? What up? I'm doing all right. Hey, I, you're being rated by in a pleasant way by my friends <laughs> that all know that we live on a flat stationary <laughs> ball, and we'd love to talk to you guys about sure, it. Sure, I want to hear all about it. Go, Go ahead. ahead. You have the floor, sir. <laughs> There's so much to talk about. Buttons. I mean, people people have a, a misconception that we live on a you know when they say flat yeah earth, you know it's flat it's earther is, it, is none of that is true. Yeah, you be calling somebody a flat earther is is become somewhat of an insult. Um, well, it, it has, but now it, that is changing because oh, now it's a globe earther is the insult because you just believe in this ridiculous story that you've been told and programmed with since the beginning of your life. Everything has globes in it, and <laughs> none of it makes any sense when you take the time to look. <laughs> well, 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 how do you, sir, sir, this is, this is a revelation to me. How, how do you explain, um, uh, like, I don't know, the, the Apollo missions? And um, uh, several, uh, you know, orbits of the Earth. How, day, how would you day, day and night? Like, how do... yeah. I, I don't know. Educate me. So, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a video to watch. It's called Flat Earth 21 Questions: A Stranger's Guide to Flat Earth 21 Questions. Write okay. that down. Okay. Find that video. Watch Damn. that later. But the, the way it works is first. The Apollo missions never happened. NASA <laughs> is a lie. The only thing they've ever sent into space is oh. your imagination. Really. Yeah, rocket ships are helium balloons with fireworks that push them up. They curve over and they crash into the ocean. And within a minute or two after launch, you're looking at CGI on the on the television. Damn. Screen. Well, how did they do CGI in 1968, 1969? Well, it wasn't CGI then. It was just it was really if you go back and look at just like a young videos, George Lucas. Are, well, what, hey, what about the, what about the Columbia though? What about Columbia? Yeah. Colum oh, that by the way, all so in that video I told you to go watch. Yeah. One of the questions is about that. Um, those astronauts and those people that were on there are still alive today. Were they beamed out all by Scotty? You, all of all of the all of the people that were on that mission are alive today. Yes, um, and they claim to be their identical twin. <laughs> how, how about the challenge? Flat Earth they, was. What was the number you gave me? A, flat Earth. What? Flat Earth. A, Twenty-one a questions. Stranger's Guide to Flat Earth. Twenty-one questions. I have by to do a this YouTuber thing. called ODD Reality. Yeah, All right, now you're fucking. Actually, if you go to ODD Reality, there's a 24/7 stream um, <laughs> with the best flat Earth information on it. And if you just watch that, you'll stop laughing within a day. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. So, so, why doesn't the water fall off the edge of the flat Earth? I I, I I I didn't think of that, but uh, because I I guess I'm just in that old way of thinking. You're you're like you're nope. red pilling me, you know. So uh, here, well, I'll give you I'll give you give a me an answer. Second explanation of the flat Earth, so you can kind of wrap your head across. Sure, it, sure. Not around it. So imagine a big football field of ice. Okay. And we'll call that the flat plane that we live on. Okay. And then All imagine right. a melted puddle in the middle of that, um, that has pieces of land in it. We yeah. live in a melted thermal pocket. The center is the North Pole, which is okay. magnetic, and the outer shore is mm. Antarctica. It surrounds us, and everything past that shore, we don't know what's there. We don't yeah. know how far it goes, but yeah. it's flat and stationary. Let me ask you this. Like, I was, on a, I, was, I was on a C-180 to Iraq, and I could sort of see the curvature of the Earth when I was up there. It's because we were pretty high. You know? <laughs> that, what, what was I looking at? What, you, what was I seeing? So, so I'll tell you what you're looking at. Okay. We can see, we can see a certain distance in all directions. So let's say I can uh, see X number of feet, miles, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, and then if you look straight forward at 12 o'clock, yeah. you, you see that distance, one o'clock, two o'clock, you draw that around, you connect all those dots, you're seeing a big flat circle, but uh, your programming tells you that it's a sphere. Uh, but you're seeing a curved flat shit. line. Man, that's I something. feel stupid. NASA even admits that you have to be like 50,000 feet or higher, or maybe it's even higher. I'm not sure of the number. Don't quote me on that. Okay. Before you can see curvature. Mm. We sent balloons up 120,000 feet. Horizon's yeah. perfectly flat. No kidding. So is, is it a big cube? Like the Borg? No, it's not a big cube. It's an endless or infinitely wide flat It's like a flat plane. sheet. It's like a flat it's like sheet. A sheet. And there could, be, there could be other thermal pockets. This okay. is why no one's allowed to travel freely to the outer shores of Antarctica because oh. there may be more land out there. They're probably well, I thought it was like oh oh oh. So this is like land. so like if you keep like you can just keep going. You know you're not like if you leave Los Angeles you're not gonna like 
you're not gonna if you if you go all the way around, you're not gonna come back to New Jersey. You know, it, like well, if, if you gonna... lived on a ball, you could circumnavigate the planet in any direction you want. Yeah, and nobody has ever circumnavigated the planet north to south. North to south, only huh? circumnavigated east to west. Yeah. And whenever your uh, ships ships captains will tell you when they're heading east or west, they constantly have to correct to the north. Uh, to maintain their heading, because if they if they dead wreck in the east, they'd end up going south. Um, so, so because you're making a circle. You put an awful lot of work point. into you. You put an. Are you also like uh, the head of the Kekistan army? I mean, you put an awful lot of work from to a troll. So I bro. used to do a podcast called Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole for three years. It was a very popular podcast. <laughs> why did and, you uh, stop? Early on, what's that? The why did you stop? Why did I stop? Yeah. <laughs> well, you should go go listen to it, and you'll figure did it out. Did the men in black? Did the men in black come in and flash you or something? <laughs> oh, hold on, people started coming and telling me the Earth was flat, and for six months, really? I ignored them. Yes, I banned them from social media. I yes. refused to look, and then finally, a, a prominent researcher said, "You got to look Who? at this." Who? And then I went in to try to debunk it, mm. and anyone that tries to debunk it becomes a flat earther. Who was who was this prominent researcher? Sophia Smallstorm. <laughs> It sounds like somebody I battled in World of Warcraft. Sophia Soph. Well, it sounds like an end well, boss. Maybe. <laughs> Look her up. Look her up. You'll see how prominent she Sophia. is. All right. I appreciate the call there, Flat Earther guy. All right. All right, guys. Hey, look. A stranger's guide to Flat Earth. 21 questions. Take the time. Watch it. Just tell it your loser friends. Your mind. Is, all right. I did this to you. It'll blow your mind. Tell your loser friends to fucking um, subscribe, and hey, then I'll be you happy. Know, don't call them losers. They'll end up summing you down. We want to sum you up because we want to educate you guys. Thank you. All right? Thank you. We want you Thank guys you. to, to Thank learn. You. I feel enlightened. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>